what is on the inside of you. And she has a responsibility to fulfill her office and make sure that you bring forth what God has put on the inside of you. But let me even go back to the book of Genesis, I believe the third chapter. We don't have to go there for the sake of time. But when you read Genesis after the fall of a man, one of the things that God said to the woman was that he was going to put enmity between her and the enemy. And so every woman needs to understand that there's a reason why you have suffered the way that you've suffered. There's a reason why you've cried like you have cried. There's a reason why people have walked out on you. There's a reason why we all, every woman in this room shares this. We have this in common, that we have an arch enemy who works daily against us. And so that's why life has been hard. That's why you've been wounded. And that's why your life has been full of pain. And you suffer the way that you suffer. But there is a victory even in that. Because God also said that your seed would crush his head. So that alone is reason enough why the enemy comes at you the way that he comes at you. 